everybody. My name is Byron Bullock. Once again, it's good to be here. And I hope you guys are doing great out there. Um, I'll shoot another video for you guys and so we can get caught up where we left off at. And um, we have today, we, um, you know, I'm obviously I'm Byron Bullock with the jazz guitar techniques. <laughs> okay. So uh, anyway, we want to have a lot of fun today and um, teaching you some other little things. But we're going to stay on that same minor, cats, um, today. And I'm going to show you how to work this thing and get the most out of it with the minor and the major um, from the C major 7 into the A minor 7. And then obviously, you know, we have the um, A minor 9 in there as well. And today I'm going to put on a backing track so I can show you guys how to kind of just improvise over that backing track. It's a two five one, kind of like funky, funky jazzy, smooth jazzy back and track out of A minor. Um, so let's get started, and I just want to do a little recapping, you know, about the the A minor, and show you guys how simple that is to actually work that. And I want to show you some licks, some just some little little minor licks to kind of just work on, and um just perfect them in your own little way okay so you don't have to play it like i play it but you can use it as a tool to perfect what you're already doing and just add to what you're doing okay um so we know we're gonna recap what we did the last time okay um we have the a minus seven we have the c major seven first uh position we have the c major seven second position we have the a minor ninth and the C, C major seven third position. And the scales to go with that is just Cap where we left off at with the last video. Now, <clears throat> I want to show you a few things on how I actually work this A minor seven, because you can kind of mix up little bluesy stuff with that as well, um, at kind of bluesy jazz type stuff. <laughs> Show you this, watch this. Do it slow for you. It's real simple little lick. I'm gonna see can I slow it way down. Because that's a smooth little lick that you can put in there as well. Along with your pedio. Back to that, okay? To the A minor 7. So, just, um, and then we want to throw in some octaves in there too, okay? And all I'm doing is da, 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 da. playing within the scale of the A minor pentatonic and the major. So you get it. That's all I'm doing. That's all I'm doing. So I'm not doing nothing way out there. And then you could come from like Just done that, just working within the notes in that minor pentatonic and that major scale. Okay, now 
Let me show you another little lick here. You can take this lick right here. Like if you go, um... And all I'm doing is just playing between the minor pentatonic and the major scale. Watch. See what I just did? When I go here, pentatonic, major, and then back to the minor pentatonic. All right, now we need to draw back in our chromatics, okay? Um, and we're going we gonna to work all this a little bit on the backing track because I'm just kind of showing you how some of this stuff works, okay? Here we go with another one. Slow. toolbox too because all of these are going to come in handy okay um then we have this one we where we bring in a little tension you hear a lot of jazz cats on the guitar do this <laughs> Because it, it come in handy. Or you can go up with it. And you know, every everything that we all get, it came from somebody. People say, oh man, that sounds just like Benson. You can do it just like yourself. Yeah, Benson played that lick. A lot of other, a million other cats play that lick too. So you can play it too. It's not beyond you to to not play that lick. You can play that lick as well. Um, but you want to be able to um, to come here and if you just see what my fingers are doing, because I try to make things really simple so you guys can get it. I'm hitting those notes together. And then you can just, you can do that little part and then come down here and catch it like this. Slow motion. See, I'm going to do it again. Now all of these licks work together. All these little licks I'm showing you, they can work together. And I want you to try these licks. So like I said, you can always put on a, a, a A minor backing track because I want to keep you guys in A minor. So if you do it in A minor, you can do it in any key. Okay? So that's just simple. Um, so when you, when, you, when you do that, we want to be able to now add in our chromatics. So if we're doing something like... Watch me. From chromatic within that chromatic, I'm, I'm playing that um that minor pentatonic scale as well. The notes in the minor pentatonic scale, okay. So if I go slow motion, slow motion again. Octave. See where I come back with the tension. See that? Octave. You see? So so that way you guys know that. And in between, like if you're soloing, 
you kind of just want to tell a story. You don't want to rip off a whole bunch of notes. That can come later if you just feel like doing that. But you want to just kind of tell a story. <laughs> them up okay so um remember your your um uh, octaves all right i'm gonna give you that too i don't want i want you to feel like i left something out um if you do like this From here, creating that tension. Just go one step up, a half a step up. You see what I'm doing here? got a whole bunch of stuff that you can play with you can mix it up any kind of way that you want to mix it up so it doesn't matter just so long as you tell a story um and don't try to crowd in too much because you gotta you gotta give music time to breathe you gotta give the music time to uh, breathe so let it breathe now i'm gonna go ahead on and put on a, a little backing track I'm going to clip over and put on a little backing track and I'm going to let you guys uh, see how I kind of just run through some of this stuff and um, and I use it, but I don't I don't crowd. I don't I don't crowd everything in there. I just kind of listen to the music, put a little tasteful stuff in there. And that's what smooth jazz is all about, man. Not trying to fill up every little spot. Let the music breathe. Listen to the other instruments and the other members that are playing in the music and just, you know, put your sweet part in that improvisation part of it that you want to put in it. OK, so let me go.
So see, now you have it. Just running through a few little things that you can do with the A minor. Like I say, you can go different places with it. But just let it be who you are. It don't have to be lick for lick what I'm doing because I might play it that way. And if I'm playing with a band or on a stage or something like that, I might do it totally different. I might add a whole bunch of other stuff that I haven't shown you in there. But I'm just trying to keep it basic, keep it simple, so you can get the idea of what I'm doing. And um, so I think that's where we're going to stop today. Just remember your chromatics. Remember that minor 9, um, the minor 7, the major 7 off of the C. And you can play your arpeggios out of that. You can run some scale notes for fillers um, in between your little riffs that you're doing. Or your um or your melody if you're playing a melody in between your melody like if you're doing something like I call that fillers you can put that in between there to just come back to your melody again okay so don't be afraid to do that kind of stuff um and it works it really works so I'm gonna see you guys for now. And if you got something out of this video, or you have any questions, shoot me a little link. Hit that little subscribe button at the bottom when it comes up. Bing, bing. <laughs> hit the subscribe button, you know, and uh, subscribe to my channel. And I'm going to have a whole bunch of other stuff coming too. But we're going to stay on this A minor. And I want to show you that. And, and then I want to move to some other things to really show you some really other stuff that can go with this to really give it some more meat too. So this is just the basics that I'm showing you how to get you guys kicked off on this jazz thing. Okay, so don't make it complicated. Keep it simple. I'll see you guys on the next video. And um, like I said, if you like my video, uh, hit my subscribe button uh, that's gonna ring on down below. And um, you guys take care of yourself out there, okay? Bye-bye.